The government of the People's Republic of China presented a check for $500,000 to the National Emergency Management Agency towards the Hurricane Dorian recovery and rebuilding effort today. The latest donation comes on the heels of $20,000 for immediate supplies and a $100,000 check from Red Cross of China to the government of the Bahamas. The Chinese ambassador says that its government cares about those impacted by Hurricane Dorian and is in support of the recovery and rebuilding effort. The Princess Margaret Hospital also receiving a $1.2 million equipment donation. The donation comes in response to Hurricane Dorian and the range of injuries treated in the wake of the storm. The initiative began with Professor Dr. Ross Layton of Dalhousie University, who reached out to various mega international companies like Smith and Nephew and Johnson and Johnson to get the necessary equipment. The multi-million dollar donation of power drills, external fixators and saws used to treat and save man mangled limbs has been called a gift of a lifetime. And stocks rose for the first time in three days as traders hoped for some kind of deal to come from U.S.-China trade talks beginning on Thursday. The Dow Jones Industrial Average gained 180 points, the S&P 500 climbed 0.9 percent, while the Nasdaq Composite advanced 1 percent. Stocks narrowed their gains heading into the close after Reuters reported China had lowered their expectations for these talks. This has been your Royal Fidelity Business News.